Okay, welcome back. Um, I am back now with my second guest, Marcus. This is Marcus Ogden. How are you? I'm good. Well, tell them hello. Say, yay, Marcus! Woo! Marcus is actually from the Baltimore area, am I correct? That's correct. Um, tell, you have to talk a little louder. Uh, correct. Project your voice, there we go. Correct, correct. I'm yes. sorry. So yeah. tell, tell me a little bit about yourself before we proceed. Uh, I'm originally from Washington, D.C. Uh, I live in Baltimore, uh, Owens Mills. I uh, have a construction company. Uh, one of my uh, good friends, Tim, his family are back there. They're from uh, the area. My okay. fiance, shut up. Uh, <laughs> my we fiance, will teach him today. It's okay. <laughs> my fiance, Bonnie, is here with me as well. Hey, Bonnie. So, so she's coming to watch and all that kind of good stuff. And we're good. Well, tell us a little bit about your football career. And then, um, <laughs> and then play play forward. Play, play for Baltimore. Uh, Play for Buffalo. Uh, play for Buffalo. Um, I enjoyed it. Football was a lot of fun. I'm excited about the uh, Super Bowl coming up here on uh, next week. Ravens are our favorite, but I'm still gonna go with them all the way. So that's good to go. Uh, other than that, everything else has pretty much been doing what has to be done. You know, go to work and try to get myself ready to go and cook and all that kind of good stuff. Cook, okay. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on the <laughs> cooking. Marcus and I are now moving on to the Bravo part of our Tex-Mex theme party that you can host at your homes. And what we're going to do is, sh I'm going to show you, he's not going to show you this part. I'm going to show you how you can make your own homemade taco shell, taco bowl, to go along with the toppings that we prepared earlier, our black bean corn salsa, the Wegmans um, pico de gallo, the Wegmans guacamole, um, and how you can bring it all together. You can have a whole spread for your party right next Sunday if you want to. So nice. you're going to start chopping the lettuce and the tomato. You okay with that? I'm sure. Okay. He's telling me he's okay with that. Cool. <laughs> he's okay. And we're going to add and start our ground beef for the tacos. You could do ground beef. You could get, here again at Wegmans, you could get a rotisserie chicken, shred it, throw the taco mix onto that as well if you didn't want to do ground beef because some people don't like that. Or you get ground turkey if you're not a fan of the beef and also put the taco mix into your ground beef. But today, or your ground turkey, excuse me. Or your ground chicken if you wanted to. Some people like ground chicken. Whatever, ground chicken, ground chicken, it all works. Exactly, it all tastes good. Okay. So, but we're going to use ground beef today because that's what I'm going with. We're also going with the packaged taco mix, but I actually make my own taco seasoning at home. We're not going to get into all the spices that go into that, but you can find that on my blog as well if you want to prepare that in advance. That's all my God, I'm not going to hit. So we're going with two pounds of ground beef, and I'm going to add one packet of pre-done taco seasoning. Yeah. I'm missing some utensils. There we go. So I'm going to chop up my ground beef and I'm going to throw in my mix. So you say that you are favoring, of course, the Ravens for the Super Bowl. Of course. Okay. The Absolutely. Fact, we're going to have to talk, we're going to, we're going to, have to talk about this part because you also have a brother that played football. I was John played for 12 years. So his, his brother is Jonathan that played for the Ravens for 12 years. So how do you feel about the Carball brother head-to-head -head action? I tell you what, you know, we'll never happen again. Two of us against each other in the Super Bowl. You can, you can be the first to see it in the last. That will never happen again. It's so rare. Brothers of NFL coaching as head coaches, it's going to be really hard to see that ever again. So enjoy it by the last. <laughs> I think it's pretty exciting. I'm excited about I'm excited. it. It's this exciting. So I think there's been a lot of fanfare between the two of them. On top of that, their father coached me in a, a bowl game in uh, Hawaii. Jack Harlow was my coach in Hawaii in an all-star game coming out of college. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's mom and everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, yeah. they seem very excited about what they're doing. <laughs> um, they had a show this week on, like, maybe it was on ESPN, and they were talking. Yeah. So they're yeah. very excited. So I think it's exciting that the families have this opportunity. Absolutely. Okay. Trash so talk. a lot of trash talk. I know. All right. This is what I'm going to show you now with this part. You can do your own homemade taco shells. I'm going to use the flour tortillas. It's much easier to do the taco shells with the flour tortillas as opposed to the corn tortillas. And this, I'm going to show you what they're supposed to look like when they're done. <laughs> because I've pre-done these, is what you should do. So your end result, this is what your end result should be when you do your homemade. Isn't that beautiful? This is what it should actually look like. I know it looks kind of crazy, but it's a, a, a flour tortilla. You're going to fry these. And there is some skill involved with your tongs, but I will show you how to do it. So it ends up like this. So it's basically like a taco bowl where you get a salad, but you're making it into a little shell. So I will now do my best to demonstrate my skills. 
I hope we do not set off any fire alarms for food. <laughs> Smoking oil could not be a good thing. <laughs> so you throw it in, and the goal, if you can look over top, I hope you can see it. Is it good? So the goal is you want to turn, and the key is, it's all on the wrist, everyone. It's all on the wrist. You want to pop it. Woo! I've been burned many times, so don't worry. So you turn, and the goal is to hold it and shape it like that. Make sure you get out your little bubbles. Your first couple tend not to be the best. Maybe two or three later into the mix, you do. Get it down. <laughs> you master your skill. Keep trying to get it. There you go. This is something that you can do a day in advance for your party, just so you know. This is something you can make for a day in advance for your Super Bowl party. Because you always want to prep so that your guests, you can have time with your guests. You don't want to be cooking while people at your party. You want to have time with your guests. And there you go. It's not too many times, but this is what it will end up looking like. And you want your heat over a medium, thank you, Ian. <laughs> over medium, and this is what it ends up looking like. This is the shape that you're going for. The ones that I used were a little bit larger, so you can go with whatever diameter, whatever you think your guests will enjoy. But this is what you want to do in advance for your guests, and if you have time with your guests. <laughs> Look at our whole set of top, I'm chopped up to them. Yeah, so, and you can also season these. Sometimes I season them when they come right out of them, a little salt, a little pepper. You might want to throw in um, some paprika, you want to throw on some cumin, or mix up your spices, but you would put maybe even your taco spice on it to give it a little kick as well. So that's what you get. And you would drain these on a paper towel. So I'm going to put that there. And now we will add our taco mix again. If you're doing it at home, I would just add my taco mix. Sometimes I actually throw the pico de gallo into my ground beef okay. for a little more kick. This is a little more flavor, but we're just going to add the taco meat right now, or taco seasoning. There you go. Like that? There you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Straight from the pack. I'm very talented. I'm very talented. I know. It's easy. It is easy. But again, you're going to couple all of these things I'm showing you with the Wegmans products. And on your way out, I mean, you have my recipe cards, but on your way out, make sure that you get some of the Wegmans um, catering menus because they are outstanding. They offer probably any kind of product you could possibly want pre done. Really good. So what do you think the final outcome? What do you think the score will be? Give us a prediction on the score. I'm going to go uh, 24 to 17. 24 to 17. There we go. There we go. I'm just over. Well, I'm definitely going with Baltimore as well, so I agree. Are you from this area? I live in Pennsylvania. I lived in Baltimore for 10 years, though. I can honestly tell you. I lived in Baltimore for 10 years. But I commuted for those 10 years to York, Pennsylvania. Okay. Not bad, not bad. You're so close. I was close. I actually am a Steelers fan, but when but, but I lived here when the Ravens came to town, so I do like the Ravens a lot. So I'm Are legitimate. Are you this on a tape show that you're a Steelers fan? I mean, fan? honestly, I'm telling the I truth. Mean, you can like two teams because if a team comes here, you have to have a sense of, I mean, how happy was the city when the team came? Happy. I, I had to be happy for the people who I lived agree. here. The Steelers, so you could say anybody else. And I'm like, I'm like, you're gonna say something else. And then you get disowned by my parent, my family. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, you know, you're so vulnerable right now. <laughs> well, I like both teams, so. All right, I think are we ready to sample? Now we are ready to sample our tacos. I hope that Marcus will forgive me for admitting to. <laughs> uh, we'll think about it. Dual team. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. You not know. <laughs> All right, so thank you. Look how nicely he has chopped them or less. So you, you're going to top your tacos with some lettuce, some tomato. He would actually dice the tomatoes. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Slices. I'm sorry. Sorry. You would bad. dice them and you might want to do a shot. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> on my behalf. I was just no, you did a nice job. You did a nice job. I wasn't guiding you. And you want to hold the knife like you want to hold the knife like this. You wanna, it makes it easier if you hold it like this. Okay. Put your thumb here. I was, I was okay. Right there, on the side. There you okay. go. Okay. A little, a little skill, a little teaching. There should be instruction involved. By you for living. I appreciate it. Anything is, hey, all helps, good help.